Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back with some brand new gameplay of Gran Turismo 7 on PS5. So this is PS5 footage again. Still, we have yet to see any PS4 footage, which again, hopefully we'll get to see soon for the people that are going to be buying this game on PlayStation 4. But at the moment, you can see on screen at the moment, we've got a replay footage from Daytona Road Course. This is one of the confirmed tracks. We knew about this track a long time ago, probably over a year ago. So it's no surprise that this track is coming. But this is the first actual gameplay footage of the track that we are watching right now on screen. So yeah, it all looks very, very polished. Now the replay is by the looks of it at 30 FPS because I'm guessing this is the quality mode. Same as on GT Sport, there was two different modes, a quality versus um, performance. And on GT Sport, you could have like a replays with 60 FPS or 30 FPS. This looks like the 30 FPS mode. And yeah, the only thing that I'm noticing on this at the moment is there is only one new car in this GT3 or Group 3 field. And that is the Ford, the Ford GT that you can see on screen there. There's no other new cars, some new liveries, but no new cars really uh, in the Group 3 field. So that is a slight worry. We spoke about this yesterday. I do hope that we're going to be getting the McLaren 720 at some point, the Ferrari 488 GT3, for example. There is no excuse for these cars not to be in the game. These cars are old now. They should be in the game. So PD, if you're listening, please, please, best efforts to get them cars into GT7 because they need to be in there. But let's have a little look. At the footage that's been shown, they've obviously shown full gameplay footage from on board the Porsche RSR. So I'm gonna let you watch that footage without me commentating over, and then we'll go back and have a little talk about that footage. So enjoy the footage, I'll be back in a second. Let's get on with this. So as you can see there, that was the onboard footage. We're gonna go, leave it in the background while we're talking now of the Porsche RSR driving in Group 3 at Daytona Road, racing against the AI, as you can clearly tell by their lack of speed and the way they're breaking through the corners. So again, first thing that I noticed when watching this is the AI, they're probably not gonna be the most most up to speed in terms of their ability. I'm sure they'll be improved over GT Sport, but looking at this footage, I can clearly see examples when they're lifting on corners where you wouldn't lift and they're backing out and stuff like that. It's not gonna be like ACC level of AI. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun to race against in single player for a lot of people that are not as experienced in terms of overall racing games. I think if you're really experienced in a racing game, you're not gonna have too much fun racing against the AI. It's probably gonna be about the online and that is why most of us play um, GT Sport now and probably a lot of people are into Gran Turismo now because of the online system such a brilliant system they use for Gran Turismo so yeah in terms of what we've noticed in this I have noticed there's a lot less tyre squeal and engine whine 
which is a good thing. It's still not up there with the best games in terms of audio, but there is a definite improvement. So it is going to be better. I would think this is the final version. I wouldn't think the audio is going to change much from what you're looking at here. But it does look like there is an improvement over GT Sport, so that is a good thing. In front of us, we have the Ford GTE, which is the only new GTE car. Along with, we know the Audi R8 has been updated, but it's, you know, it's an updated version of the Audi R8. It's the Evo one, I think. So, yeah, we do know that the new Audi R8 is in the game as well, and that Ford GTE. That is the only new cars that we have witnessed so far in GT7. Hopefully, they've got a few surprises left there for us, and they'll be adding them in in a future uh, date but at the moment that is all we've got available so yeah a few improvements on the audio a lot less tire screech a um, lot less engine wide a little bit a little bit better audio in terms of the engine sound the visuals look great um, GT it looks pretty similar to GT Sport if I'm honest I think most people would agree with that it looks like a polished GT Sport a little bit improvements in lighting shadows shadows look a lot better you can see that straight away on the track and I think this is going to be interesting when we add in the dynamic weather. So we still don't know whether all these tracks are going to have dynamic weather and dynamic time of day. We do know that it's in the game, but it's not confirmed which tracks yet. So hopefully it will be the majority of tracks that will have all them features because them features will add a real big improvement to the overall visuals of the game, especially when you're doing like two hour races and you can set the timer to whatever you want for how fast it goes through the day and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, it looks great. I'm really excited for Gran Turismo 7. I'm sure you lot are. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this footage. I'm really interested to hear what you lot think about what you've seen here. I think it looks polished. I don't think it looks out of this world amazing. I think it looks very good and polished, and I'm really excited for Gran Turismo 7. But I do want to see some new cars featured in these videos. Something that, you know, added into the Group 3 and Group 4 category because they're the main, they're probably the main classes on Gran Turismo that most people want to be looking at for what content's going to be added. And at the moment, all we've seen is a new Audi R8 and a new Ford GTE. I think we need a bit more. But anyway, like I say, let me know in the comment section what you think of this footage. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in any Gran Turismo 7 content because we will be putting out a lot of in-depth guides to make sure you get all your licenses done and you get through the game as easily as possible and you progress and become as fast as possible on Gran Turismo 7. Anyway, I'll be going. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you all soon. Bye.